This is a bell, okay? It's called the marshmallow test. One go? We try to set up situations in which young children make a choice between two of something that you prefer later or one of something that you prefer a little less now. If you had to choose, would you like to have one marshmallow? Yeah. Or would you like to have two marshmallows? The whole point of the experiment is to set up an intense conflict between the two. Now here's how we play this game. I'm going to leave the room. While I'm gone, if you can stay here and wait for me to come back without eating the marshmallows, then you get two marshmallows. Two. But if you don't want to wait, you can make me come back right away the bell. by pressing the bell. But then you get one marshmallow, not two marshmallows. I won't ring the bell. You won't ring the bell? OK. The conflict for the child is very heavy, is that about half will go one way and half will go the other. Oh, you made me come back. It's like a little window into willpower or dilemmas that everybody faces. I wonder what's taking her so long. What we found is a very simple and direct way of measuring a competence that seems to make an important life difference. The longer they were able to wait at age four, the better the ratings of their ability to control themselves and to pursue their academic and other goals. Please come back. The kids were able to delay gratification are increasingly learning ways of managing frustration, ways of managing distress. In middle life, there's less drug use higher educational level attainment, much less likely to have lowered self-esteem, uh, to engage in bullying behavior with other people. The correlations are clearly statistically significant, but that in no way means that a youngster who at age four didn't wait a long time is in any way doomed.